So we're going to run through some testing on these PV strings. All of them have seven panels on different orientations, but before we do it, you need to make sure you've got your test set correctly configured. You can see here I'm using the PV Checks Pro, which is different to the PV Checks we've used before, and we're using Trina panels. So you can see we've got a 440 watt panel. Um, we have got our panel details in there with the VOC, the ISC, and the temperature coefficient. So you can see you've got temp ISC, temp VOC. If we look on here, it gives you that on the data sheet. So you basically need to match up those bits into your test instrument. Otherwise, your readings will never produce a pass. So you've really got to put the work in with this yourself, understand what these are on the data sheet, all these different numbers, and get them into the test set. That is your first step. Your next step is to get the Solar O3 set up and you can see there's four inputs on the bottom of here and it shows you as soon as you turn it on what's going where. So we've got our Iridians meter into the first terminal, which is this one. We've got our temperature sensor into this end one here and that is done. The next step is to pair it up with the instrument. So I've just returned this back on to show you that process but it's automatically paired with the test set. You can see there we've got an Iridians value of zero because we're inside. I don't think it's going to pick anything up. A little bit, look, so it's jumped up to seven. Once we take it outside, that'll fire right up. We've got our temperature of 24 degrees, which is correct. I'm currently showing no voltage because I haven't attached the probes into anything. We need to set the instrument up now in terms of the test you would like it to carry out based on the kit you're testing. So in this case here, we have got optimizers in play. So we want to make sure we are not doing an insulation resistance test. So I'll show you how you adjust that now. So when you're in the instrument, if you will come back to the main menu and I'll take you right in, you get all your options here. So we're going to go to the IVCK test. We press enter, we then need to press up and make sure we're setting all of this up here. So the number of modules in the string, we've got seven. Number of strings is one. And then we want to take our insulation resistance test to off because we are not testing that with these and everything else I think can stay the same. So we then need to press the save button, data saves, and it should then show you on the main screen the panels we're testing, the number of modules, and then all of these are set right. So we're not going to do an insulation resistance test. So the next step is to take this up to the roof, which I'll get the guys to do and film that up there in just a second, and attach our probes onto a suitable test point ready to carry out the test. So you can see we've got the Iridians meter up here on the roof, and this is to record precisely what the generation would be expected to be producing. So you've got to be really careful to set it at exactly the same um, angle and orientation as your panels, because that is what's going to send the data back down to um, the receiver. And equally with your temperature sensor, we usually just pop it underneath there. So it's recording roughly what the panels are seeing down at ground level and we can get our test result now. So next up is to run the test. You can see we've got the Iridians meter up on the roof there because we're measuring our watts per meter squared. We've also got the temperature up there. It's very, very warm. As you can see, that isn't inaccurate. It's absolutely mapped in when you're up on a roof surface around the panels and we've got our voltages. So I'm probed on to our pause and neg. If I can show you in there. And that is for the string that's on the south elevation. If I hit test, it will run that sequence. So it's doing our VOC, ISC, and the bond to earth. And you can see we have got an okay result, which is absolutely fantastic. I can take these probes away. And that is the IVCK test done. With this case, it's checked our voltages for standard test conditions. It's checked our current for standard test conditions. And it has checked um, the resistance continuity path between the earth frames back to your earth point. Now, sometimes we're not earthing array framework, so that won't be applicable. And obviously when you've got optimizers, you cannot go mega in them. If this was just a basic string, we could have run the thousand volt test as well for insulation is what we do is check our cable up to the roof to make sure that that is carrying the thousand volts quite happily. And then the cabling obviously between the optimizers and such is what it is. They're doing a lot of that monitoring of themselves. And that's just the nature of the beast with that equipment. You start mega in it, they'll start going wrong. So we are where we are with that one. But I hope that's useful and has explained how to use the um, PV Checks Pro in carrying out your IVCK test. And this does loads of other things as well. You can see you can find an insulation bolt. 
Um, if you want to just use it as a multimeter, you can do all of that. And also, if you're struggling with setting up the instrument, so say we're in the IVC care test, if you press help, it shows you where all your connections need to be. So you've got positive going to the positive of your string, negative going to the negative of your string, your iridium meter up there um, doing its job, and then you've got your connection to earth, and your connection to the earth framework, and away you go. Like I say, the most important thing is setting up your panel parameters. If you don't do that, this will just produce not okay results until the death of time.